Hi everyone. I was getting ready and I decided to do a face of the day. I kind of on a whim. I already started with my primer, which was the Hourglass Veil Primer. And today I'm going to use the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation, which I really like. I use about that much, which is, I don't know, like the size of a dime. And I'm going to try it with the Hourglass Kabuki brush, which by the way, I really, really love. So I put it just on the side like this. And just kind of buff that in. Typically, um, I haven't, this is the first time I've tried this brush with this foundation. I usually use kind of a Sigma Kabuki brush. It doesn't really matter. Um, this brush is really nice. I'm really enjoying the heck out of it. And it's funny, I um, initially thought oh, I don't really use Kabuki brushes, but this one, like this, like the little hand one, um, my nursery school style label on here is for um, when I was working at Sephora. Okay, so that's the foundation. Easy peasy. I love this foundation. It's really just something you don't have to think about, which is always good when you're in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry, but I'm just saying. All right, I am going to use the Bobbi Brown what is this called? Tinted Eye Brightener. I always forget. I always want to say it's corrector, but that's something else. Something else I happen to love. It is my anniversary, by the way. 14 years. It's pretty exciting. I don't know what we're doing. We're not really doing anything, to be honest. We're um, grilling with the kids and maybe going out for dessert or something like that, but maybe next year we'll do a vacation that would be pretty cool all right so there's my corrector and I would set that with my hourglass powder but it's in my kit I took it to a photo shoot and I am blown away by it if you're interested in seeing the pictures it was a boudoir session they're on my Facebook page facebook.com slash makeup by Jumana J-U-M-A-N-A please go take a peek and let me know what you think I was really impressed with the ambient lighting powder for that session in particular it was really really nice I'm going to use some of this NARS concealer just because I have it and I'm not really using it. Not blown away by this product to be honest, but what the heck. I'm getting ready and I have it right here. And I have a little bit of a kind of an annoying breakout. And right here I have some scarring from a past breakout. Fun times. So, I love this brush, by the way, this is the Sephora Professional Airbrush Concealer. It is incredible. I know they've changed them, so I don't know if the more updated version is as good, but I love this, and it's something I use a lot. Excuse me. So, um, going to use some bronzer today. <laughs> This is probably not the most orchestrated video I've done. All right, I'm going to set this with the NARS powder in flesh and the same brush. Just tapping it on top of the foundation. It might look like I'm sweeping it, but I'm not. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Milk Chocolate. Here's the Sephora Airbrush brush. Do it right under the cheekbones, hairline, nose, and take it a little bit down there. I'm so pale. I swear sometimes using this, I, it looks like I just didn't do anything at all. But what are you going to do? I think I'm going to try a little bit more cheerful blush today just for fun. I'm going to use the Tarte Amused blush. This is a very bright pink, kind of a bubblegum pink. I'm going to use the same brush. These brushes are really versatile. They really are two of my favorites. I love this pink. But I, I like to kind of build it up slowly because it is really vibrant. Okay. And then I'm going to use the what is this thing called? The Heat Wave Jelly Powder Jelly from um, Estee Lauder. And I'm going to use this brush, which is called the Contour Brush from Real Techniques. 
Today I'm going to a preschool Mother's Day tea. I have a couple of new fun things. I'm going to do a haul video, but I'm going to show you how this next item performs for fun. Okay, so yesterday I was at the base and I, um, the Marine Corps base, Quantico, and I picked up some really cool Smashbox stuff. And one of the things I got was called the Photo Op Eye Palette Shadow Shadow Palette Smoke Box 2. Looks like this. It was very inexpensive. Um, but here are the colors. It's very um, cool toned, pretty colors. And I thought it would be nice because I have green eyes, but I also think this would be amazing if you have uh, brown eyes. So I'm going to just grab some brushes and go to town and show you what I think of it. So I'm going to start with a, a MAC 239. And I think on the lids I'm going to use the light, the light gray color. It's not really light, but it's one of the lighter colors in the palette. And I'm going to use that on the eyelids. Let me kind of zoom in a little. And um, Smashbox shadows really impress me. I think that they're really pigmented and easy to work with, easy to blend. I don't have a ton but the ones I have, I'm really happy with. I think that, you know, I don't know if everyone else on here watches me feels the same, but there was a period when I used a lot of MAC products and I've really gotten away from their shadows. I just don't think they're a very good product. And I know that's kind of blasphemy to some artists. Whoops. Okay. So then I'm going to take a clean brush and just kind of blend the edge because I kind of made a boo-boo. Alright. Next I'm going to take this burgundy color, which is really beautiful, and this Real Techniques brush. And take that into the crease. I have green eyes, so um, the red and the burgundy kind of counteracts the green and should make them pop, theoretically. We'll see. Goes back to the whole color wheel thing, which even with makeup I do recommend looking into. This is a great brush, by the way. This is called the, I always get this wrong, the Base Shadow Brush. It's really nice. I use this now a lot more than my 217s from MAC, although I still think it's a wonderful brush. This just seems a little bit easier to wield and definitely better with placing color. Now in the inner corners, I'm going to go for the Seafoam color. It's a sparkling Seafoam Green. And place it in the inner corners. Just to sort of brighten up that area. Okay. Then I'm going to take um, <laughs> I'm going to take a, a tiny pencil brush and I'm going to line the lower lash line with the initial gray I used. I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to take the seafoam color a little further into the lower lash line just to blend that a little bit better. Okay. Now on the outer corners I'm going to take again the base shadow brush. I'm just going to wipe that off on a, on a cloth and the black in the palette and it is a very pigmented matte black color. I'm just going to take that into the outer V just like so. Okay and then in this I'm going to wipe that off again 
And then in the center of the lid with the sea foam color, that was my text message, I apologize. I'm just going to place a little bit of this sparkling sea foam color in the center of my lid just to brighten it up a little. See how that works out. And I'm going to use, I've had good luck with this lately, kind of funny, the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in zero. Hasn't traditionally been a favorite of mine at all, but I've used it the other day and it lasted a long time. I was very surprised by that, to be honest, but it was good. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk fluffy dome shaped brush and I'm going to use that as a highlighter. Oh, I'm sorry, the cream color in the palette as a highlighter. Just sort of smooth out the edges of this look. And just kind of, you know, tone it down some. And then I'm going to do my brows, which normally I would have done already. I'm all discombobulated. What can I say? Okay, it's my Illamasqua brow cake. Okay. And then I'm going to use L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and I don't know what lipstick yet. Okay, two coats. Okay, so there's the eye look. I really like this palette. Super easy to work with, not very expensive. Um, I got it on base, so we always have pretty good prices on things. Let me see if there's a price. $33 for six decent sized shadows, pretty good. Um, let's get some lipstick. What is this one? Cinnamon Kiss from Too Faced. The creme. Oh, I like that with this. Okay. And then I'm going to top that with the Dior Gloss in 157. They just changed the name of their glosses. I'm not sure what it's called now. This is just a nude. Okay. So that's the look of the day. But this palette, what is it called? Smoke Box Photo Op Eye Palette. Smoke Box. I feel like there was a name of it, but maybe that's what it's called. It's amazing really really nice so there are, again are the colors i use most of them i use the gray the black the sea foam the burgundy and the cream the only one i did not use is called roast it's kind of a brown i just didn't need it with this look so yeah let me know what you think i i'm totally in love with this and in a subsequent haul video i will show you the other things i picked up hope you're having a wonderful morning thank you so much for watching i hope that you're having a great week as well I really appreciate you being here. My kind of my hope is my birthday is next month and I kind of would love to have a thousand subscribers by my birthday and you know knock on wood we'll see what happens. It's just sort of a lofty goal and we'll see what happens but I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.